Okay, so when we are studying uniform series analysis, we have started already with analyzing the uniform series compound amount factor. The next step is to study the uniform series sinking fund factor. So what is uniform series thinking fund factor? Okay, the name itself may seem that it is something it is, uh, which is very different than the uniform series compound amount factor. Uh, it seems like something new. However, uniform series thinking fund factor is basically the multiplicative inverse of the uniform series compound amount factor. Now, in the previous video, we have learned how to calculate the total accumulated future value in a savings account if we make a series of uniform deposits. So we have learned how to calculate the future value of a uniform series of annual, annual payments. But this time we are going to ask the opposite. If we would like to uh, collect a total amount of F in a savings account for in N years, uh, under interest rate I, how much uh, we should invest in the end of each year into the savings account. So this time we are going to give the future value and we are going to ask the annual installment size. Now, the relationship between A and F was constructed already. Now, we are writing the annual installment size in terms of the future value this time. And this formula that is multi uh, 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 multiplying f with uh, in order to calculate the annual installment size is called the uniform series sinking fund factor and if you check the previous pages this is basically the multiplicative inverse of the uniform series compound amount factor so the ratio between a and f or in other words a over f is equal to i over one plus i to the power n minus one now, we are going to use the extended notation for uniform series thinking fund factor once again. It is going to be defined as in parentheses A over F under I percent interest rate for N years. And that is basically the multiplicative inverse of the uniform series compound amount factor in extended notation. Now, when we are going to check for the uniform series thinking fund factor from the compound interest table, you are going to see that there is not a separate column uh, for the sinking fund factor. We are just going to calculate that value by looking at the compound amount factor, and we are going to take the reciprocal of it uh, in the solution procedure. Now, let us solve a question, which is uh, in uh, basically uh, the opposite of the previous application in the previous video. So it says that a fixed sum of money, A, will be deposited in a savings account at the end of each year for 20 years. Okay. So this time we are going to invest A in the end of each year for 20 years. So number of investments years is 20. So we are going to deposit money into the savings account in the end of each year in the form of a uniform series and we will have a constant annual installment size A. If the bank pays interest at a rate of 6% per year, so uh, the money that you invest into the savings account will be exposed to an annual interest rate of 6% per year, and it says compounded annually, so the interest will be compounding interest. The question here is this. Find A such that a total of $50,000 will be accumulated at the end of the 20-year period. So your objective is to get a total of $50,000 in the end of this 20-year period. What should be the annual installment size in order to collect this money in 20 years? So this time, if we draw the cash flow diagram of this question, this time F is given as twenty thousand dollars. I'm sorry, fifty thousand. Sorry, fifty thousand dollars. And the number of investment years is twenty. So for twenty years, we have we are going to deposit money in the end of each year. And the question is asking, what should be the 
annual installment size to collect that fifty thousand uh, dollars. First, we determine the future value. The objective, the aimed future value is fifty thousand dollars. The interest rate is zero point zero six uh, as decimal, and the investment years is twenty. Now, either we can use the formulation. The annual installment size will be the future value multiplied with uniform series sinking fund factor. And we are, we are plugging in the values here. F is $50,000 and the uh, annual interest rate is 0 0.06 as decimal and the number of investment years is 20. And that makes $1,359.23. So as a comment here, we should say that for 20 years, if you invest that money, $1,359.23 in your savings account, in that savings account, the interest will be compounded with 6% rate per year. And in the end of 20 years, you are going to get $50,000. Now you see, you actually have invested a total amount of $26,000. $7,000 approximately, right? So if you multiply your annual installment size with 20 directly, you are just going to get a number which is close to $27,000. However, under the compounding interest rate, this uniform series of payments will be accumulated to $50,000. Now, this is the solution where we use the formula. Now, if you use the extended notation, if you use the extended notation, what happens? So you see, we are just going to say that A, the annual installment size is equal to the future value multiplied with the uniform series sinking fund factor A over F under I percent for N years. Now, of course, as previously said, this A over F does not have any separate column in your compound interest table. So what you are going to do is you are going to replace it with the multiplicative inverse of the uniform series compound amount factor, F over A. And again, under 6% interest rate, remember for this question, we have 20 investment years. And what we are going to do is we are going to identify this value. Now, first we need to check F over A under 6% interest rate for 20 years. So let's do that. Let's go to the page that corresponds to a 6% interest rate. As you can see, it is here. And for 6% interest rate, F over A for 20 years is 36.7856 according to our table. Now let's go to our presentation file. Now we take the multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal of this 36.7856, basically one over this value, is approximately equal to 0 0.02718. So you see we are writing down five digits after the decimal point here. And we are plugging in this uniform series sinking fund factor in place of $50,000 and you are going to get 1,359 as a result, which is a little different than the value that you have found through your formulation. So direct formulation gives you the exact value. However, sometimes it may be impractical to use a direct formulation. In that case, we are going to use extended notation and compound interest tables, but uh, expecting some error size coming from the approximations uh, of the results in the table. We are going to continue the uniform series capital recovery factor in the next video.